my current foundation routine. Thanks for watching. Hi lovelies. Today I wanted to share with you how I do my foundation routine. It's pretty simple. Even though I use quite a few products, it doesn't take me that long. So I hope you enjoy my foundation routine and here it is. Okay, so, so far all I have on my face is the primer and I used um, that girl primer by Benefit and of course I moisturized before I um, put a primer on. So I'm going to start with a little bit of concealer and this is a concealer by um, Maybelline and this is Age Rewind Eraser and it looks like this. I'm sure you all guys have seen it. And you just twist it and the product comes out out of this little sponge at the end. And we're going to put this right, I'm going to hold the mirror, so excuse me. I'm going to put this right under our eyes. Not too much. Around our nose. Around my mouth here. And then the bridge of my nose. So, and then I'm just going to take my fingers. Yes, I am using my fingers. And take my fingers. And just... Blend it in. Okay. Like so. And under your eyes, try to use your um, ring finger, which is the weakest finger on your hand. That way you don't stretch um, the skin under your eyes. And just blend, 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 blend. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, so here we go. Next, I'm going to take my foundation. I'm currently I'm using the Aqua Lumiere. Yes, Aqua Lumiere by Chanel. And make sure if you're using this foundation to shake it up really well because this foundation is water-based. And um, if you don't shake it well when you're going to put the product on your hand, it's just a whole bunch of water is going to come out. Then I'm going to take my stippling brush and... I think this is, yeah, this is uh, e.l.f. stipple brush. I'm just going to put the product right on the brush. And I'm going to pat it onto my face with the brush, like so. And just pat, pat, pat. I'm going to take it down to my neck. I'm trying not to move too much because I know like the glare from the sun messes up the lighting kind of so I'm trying to kind of stay in one position. Okay. I'll put the product on like so. And then I like to go with my Sephora mineral powder brush number 45. And I just like to kind of Above the rest of the product and concentrating on areas where I need the most coverage, which is on my cheeks, around my eyes where I have some um, under eye circles and some veins. So here we go. Next, I Work on my eyes a little bit more because I'm not spring chicken honey. And um, um, this is Ooh La La Lip by Benefit. And this kind of like eliminates under your eyes a little bit and gives you that little bit of lip. Or I like to think it does. I'm just going to pat this in. And I like to concentrate right around this areas. That way it looks like... um. You had a little lift under your eyes. Here we go, like so. Then next I'm going to take my Christian Dior Skin Flash and it looks like this. And this is an um, under eye concealer and what I like about it is that it's very, very thin. So it's perfect for um, my under eyes because then it doesn't settle into the creases. So I'm just going to look down for a second while I'm doing this. 
And again, we're going to just pat, 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 pat. Same thing on the other side. I'd like to take a little bit of this product and put it on my top lid as well. Just kind of brighten it up. Not too much. A little bit goes a long way. You don't want to look, you, you don't want your face to look cakey. So, just a little bit of a product. And ta 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 I find that when I look up, it works the best for me because then it doesn't settle into my little lines and wrinkles. Okay, next I'm going to use this MAC concealer. And this MAC concealer, just a little tiny bit. I mean, when I tell you a little tiny bit, this is how much product I'm taking. And this is MAC Pro Long Concealer. It looks like this. And this is a shade NW20. And I'm just going to put this on my problem areas, like on my hyperpigmentation right here. I'll never be able to cover it completely because it just doesn't cover ever completely. But I can try. I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation right over here on the corner of my eye. I'm going to pat some concealer in here. And concealer you always want to pat. Because if you're going to rub it in, it's just going to come off. A couple spots that I see in my face that I'd like to conceal. A little bit of veins right here on the side of my eyes. I have a little blemish coming right here on my chin. So I'm going to pat a little bit in there. And right maybe above my lip. So here we go. Now I'm going to take my uh, MAC black powder. I don't like to use powder with like color. This is a translucent translucent powder not only it's a black powder which is meant for um, using during the day and it pretty much works as a blood and tissues when you get oily throughout the day in the t-zone it, it works really well so I just take it on this another elf powder brush and just go over my whole face to set my foundation bring it around to my neck like so Okay, next we want to warm up our face, and I'm going to be doing that by using um, Tarte, um, what is this, Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in Park of Princess. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, I know a lot of people don't like shimmer, I don't mind it the summertime and winter, I don't normally use shimmer. And I'm using a kabuki brush, just a drugstore kabuki brush that I've had for years. So I couldn't even tell you the name of it, I'm sorry. And you want to bring it down to your neck so it doesn't look like you're wearing a mask. Here we go, we're just trying to warm up the skin. Next, we're going to go and contour. And this is an oldie but goodie. This is a MAC brush and I couldn't, I couldn't even tell you the number of this brush. That's how long I've had it rubbed off. And I'm going to take this um, e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzing powder. I love this stuff. It's very pigmented though, so when you put your brush in, you might want to pat it down in the back of your hand to get rid of extra product. And we're just going to concentrate right under our cheekbones. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to put some contouring over here. And don't worry if it looks a little crazy right now because we're going to blend all these lines in. And since I have a round face, I'd like to use this also under my chin and around my jawline. Just to kind of slim down my face a little bit. On the sides of my nose, real quick. 
Then I'm gonna take the same kabuki brush that I used um the bronzer, the Amazonian clay bronzer, and I'm gonna go over it again. Now for the blush, I'm currently using Don De Leon by Benefit, and it looks like this. And it barely has any color, but it's just so beautiful for the summer. It just gives you enough color to brighten up your face. And I'm using this Sephora, um, what is this, Sephora powder brush, but I like it for, um, for my blush brush. Top off with this powder. Smile and put it right on the apples of your cheeks. Going away from the cheeks and more towards your temple. Here we go. And last but not least, I'm gonna take this mineralized skin finish, and this is in soft and gentle. And I'm just gonna use my finger for this. I'm gonna put it on my finger and I'm gonna put it right over here a little bit. I'm gonna put it right over here. I'm gonna put it right above my brow. There we go. On the bridge of my nose. My cupid bow. There we go. And then the last product that um, I always use is this Nick Brow Pencil, but it has this underbrow highlighting pencil. I'm going to just put this right over here. There we go. Blend this in. And then the tear duct. Just kind of open up your eyes. Put it right in here. And just kind of rub it in, or pat it in. And there we go. Here's my full foundation routine. I hope you guys enjoy. So, and that's how I do my foundation. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe. Um, please comment down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye. I love you for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.